Hi everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how you can use legacy Firewire devices with Apple's new line of Macs using the Apple Silicon processors such as the M1. Now you may recall I've made other videos on this topic including how to use hard drives with Intel Macs, how to use camcorders with PCs, and how to connect audio interfaces with both Macs and PCs. Today we're going to test all three of these devices with Apple's brand new 13-inch MacBook Pro with an M1 chip and macOS Big Sur. Now in the past, Apple's Macs have had Intel processors and Thunderbolt, which is an Intel technology, and that was required in order to adapt down to Firewire, which is an Apple technology. So now that Apple is using their own silicon in these Macs, we're going to see if these ports, which are labeled as Thunderbolt slash USB 4 ports, will still work with Firewire devices. The switch from Intel to ARM processors is pretty major. And that's why my work bought a few of these Macs so that we can test and ensure that our automated deployment process and core applications still work. So while I have this system to do some testing, I figured I might as well try out some of these legacy peripherals to see if they still work because I received a few comments from my viewers asking if I've tried this or not. So first off, let's cover the connections. In order to make this work, you're going to need the same adapters and cables as I've covered in my previous videos, which are the Apple Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt adapter and Apple Thunderbolt to Firewire adapter. And then from here, we have the Firewire 800 connection, which we're going to use to connect to these devices. Now one really cool feature of Firewire is that it can daisy chain. So rather than me having to disconnect and reconnect each one of these devices for this test, I'm actually able to connect them all through the single cable. So we have a Firewire 800 to 800 cable going to this LaCie external hard drive. And then passing through, we have a Firewire 800 to 400 cable, which is going to this M Audio audio interface. And then passing through our other port, we have a Firewire 400 to 400 cable, and then a 6-pin to 4-pin adapter to connect this camcorder, which uses the mini Firewire connection, which is sometimes also known as an iLink or DV port. Now, of course, you don't need to daisy chain like this, so if, for example, all you have is just this camcorder, you could buy a cable with a Firewire 800 on one end and a Firewire 400 mini plug on the other, and that would work just fine as well. So first, let's test out this hard drive, which is really easy because we can see it listed in disk utility as a Firewire device, it's mounted on the desktop, and when we open it, we can see that there's a folder on the drive, and everything seems to work fine with this. Next up, we'll test this audio interface, and if you'll recall, this specific model I tested before did have some issues, but that's because it's over 17 years old, so I know right off the bat, it's not going to fully work with macOS Big Sur, but we can at least try it. So, I got GarageBand set here to record channels 3 and 4, even though we're actually going to use channel 1 for this microphone and channel 2 to simulate a guitar input. And as you can see, we're getting levels and the recording is working just fine. Test, 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 one, two, three, hello, hello, one, two, one, two, three, hello, hello, one, two, test. Now I did run into an issue with playback. I wasn't able to get any sound output to work, both via the headphones or the unbalanced outputs on the back. But I did have this issue before on newer versions of macOS, so we can dismiss this as just an issue with this particular interface and not an architecture problem since we've proven that Firewire communication at least works since I'm able to record from it. So if you have a newer device, or you're able to install the drivers from the manufacturer, it should work just fine. And now last up, let's test this camcorder. This is an HDV camcorder, but it works the same as many DV camcorders. The only difference is this is a newer model that records in HD, but other models that record in standard definition will work the same way. To capture video, I'm going to open iMovie and click Import. And just like that, we can see the model of the camcorder connected here in the sidebar. And if we click play, the video starts and we can start capturing it. So all in all, I'm really surprised all this equipment still works, or at least it works the same way as it did as the previous generation of Macs with Intel processors. I honestly expected Apple would have dropped Firewire support on these newer Macs, but surprisingly, it's still possible as long as you have the right adapters. And as always, in the case of the Thunderbolt adapters, it's really important that you buy the Apple branded ones because a lot of the other third party ones just don't seem to work. If you need these adapters or any Firewire cables, I'll put some affiliated links down in the video description. And as always, your price stays the same, but a small commission may come back to help support my channel whenever you purchase anything using my links. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. And if you found this video useful, please take a moment to like and subscribe because that tells YouTube it was a good video and should recommend it to others. So with that, I thank you for watching and have a great day.